Kamarov. AQ Hilo in my sights. Take it down. Roger. Stand by. Target destroyed. General Lyons, this is Mara. AQ Hilo down north of my position. Copy. Get in there. Confirm enemy KIA. Rod, on the move. Payload appears to be gas canisters. It's contact! General, I got a legion firing on my position! Secure that payload now! Sergeant Kamenov, we have coalition fighters in the AO. Don't let them get the upper hand, Nicto. Get down there! Let's move! So today I want to just go over the Season 1 uh, Battle Pass and everything that we have with that. As you can see from that little intro video, we have a new map. Actually, there's a couple new maps. Um, the one that you did see there is definitely a fan favorite. It is Crash. It's quite a bit, quite a bit of fun. I've already played it a couple of times. Um, but there's also another one I have not played it yet. It's a new Ground War map, and we'll take a look at that here real quick. But I have not got a chance to play it yet, regardless of the amount of times that I have been trying to play it. So... Hopefully we'll get some gameplay on that, but for now, I just want to jump in, kind of go over the battle pass, maybe get a little bit of gameplay in here, and we'll take a look at that and see. So, first, I've already been playing this with a, a little bit. I know this video is um, definitely a little bit past due. Got a little bit of lag there. That was weird. But, anyways, a little bit past due. Um, but first, I want to start off with the store. So they've got some just, like, little... Um, cosmetic things, little cosmetic upgrades with some COD points. Um, let's kind of, kind of look through a few of these. I don't really want to go over too many of them. They have a featured category, but uh, first one, I guess you can get an operator, an actual blacksmith, uh, blacksmith blueprint. Uh, looks is for the, I like to call it PP9000, but PP19, Bazon. Uh, whatever this handgun, 357 Magnum is. But anyways, looks like these are going to change, I think. Think, oh yeah, limited time, one day, 15 hours. They've actually, these might be weekly, because again, this came out, I believe, last, it did come out last week, um, last Tuesday, I believe, about 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, but anyways, looks like these are going to change weekly. Uh, interesting. So these are changing, I think, daily, because I haven't seen these ones. I actually saw somebody running around the other day, and I didn't know they had this on. Might have been today, actually. Anyways, um, so these will be changing weekly. These are kind of cool. I don't know if I'll ever get these. I just haven't found one that I really like yet. I also haven't looked into these too much. The watches are kind of weird, and we'll go over that in a minute. Wait, what was that, though? Two tier skips. Interesting. 1,400? I think it's like... F I'd have to take a look. I can't remember how much it is, though. But, anyway, there's some cool stuff. Uh, so we've got just straight blueprints and some charms and stickers so a couple guns there <clears throat> you got the operators and a couple things with them um, yeah I haven't seen all of these but I know that one thing you can <clears throat> and once you have these operators I apologize I keep clearing my throat but uh, once you have these operators you just get these additional skins for them so they're kinda cool um, I'm not too hot on these I don't, I'm not a huge fan of like the finishing moves they don't happen that often I actually have that Oh, that's a spray. I was about to say, I have that emblem already. But I like it. Um, I think this is pretty cool. I think this is something that they've done in the past with the crates, and I believe they did not want to do it with this one. So that was super nice that they just didn't go with that. One thing I will say, though, for the calling cards, I don't understand why they have, like, the big picture behind it. Because you never see that. It's just a small picture, but I guess it just gets, gets rid of, like, void space. But it's just always weird. I, I, I feel like... That picture right there, like it should be showing, like whenever you go to your calling card. Um, so let's go to identity, like I, like my calling card, World Eater. Like I feel, and I can't go to it right now unless I'm in a lobby, but I feel like it should show up um, as um, 
like the, just the whole picture. I, I really feel like where it says Culling Cord World Eater, like that should be more orange. Just a little quick little thing of mine, but anyways, so the store is nice. It is nice that they're not doing the crates. I uh, will definitely say I spent a lot on Black Ops 3 when that was out with using all those crates. I got a lot of the stuff that I wanted. I also spent a lot of money and uh, time in those crates for stuff that I never got. But, anyways, so let's go into the Battle Pass. As, as mentioned, I'm going to start back from the beginning. Sorry, I have already played this a little bit, so I definitely have gone up a bit. But when you first buy it, I bought the, just I believe, just a regular Battle Pass. There's a premium that you skip, like, the first 20 levels. Uh, but when you first buy it, you do get these for free. So you get Mara, uh, Azur, and plus their missions. You get Operator missions for each of those. You get this watch. It's weird. Actually, I've played, I don't know how many games, probably like two dozen games before I realized that the watch is actually on your wrist in the game. So that's like a cool little aesthetic thing. But at the same time, at least this one is kind of pointless. Yeah, you get to see. This one keeps track of your level. Um, as you can see, where are we at? Right there in the center. So just underneath the PKM, you can see it like kind of right there on the little watch stand. And I'm, this shows on level 68. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the watches, but... Um, anyway, so you get that, you get the watch, you get a double experience token to start off. I think that's, yeah, it's an hour, as it shows right there on the little USB key. Um, I've gotten a new blueprint for, I want to say it's the M4, yeah, M4, but I don't know. There's, I've already, I unlocked the gold one on this, so, so far I'm not impressed with these blueprints. I didn't really use the blueprints too much besides the, um... I can't remember what the first M4 is, but whichever one you get for pre-ordering the game virtually, that's the one I use. Um, these calling cards are okay. I don't know... Okay, so they actually are animated. That one's kind of cool. I hope the guy in the back becomes an operator. As of right now, I don't think he is. But most of the time, it's just double experience, some small random blueprints. You get, like, I think... I think it's a thousand COD points to buy, and I think you get thirteen or 1,400 back. Um, through it, so you do get those back, but it's a lot of XP tokens. I'm about to get that here soon. Charms. Let's see. So this is one of the new weapons, the Holger 26, also known as the LMG version of the G36, the H and K G36. But um, so that's a sweet gun. I haven't unlocked that yet. I'm getting really close. I actually am excited for that. I picked it up and used it because somebody else had it. It is pretty good. The iron sights on it are pretty nice. I'm pretty stoked for that. That's a pretty sweet one, but I still... That actually looks like more like a girl there, surprisingly enough. More COD points. I just want to go through all of these really quick. We'll go through them pretty quick. Operator skin. That is actually a pretty sweet... I will probably use that and swap it out because I like that camo. But, I mean, ultimately, like... So this is, these are free ones. Any ones that are green are free. Any ones that don't have that free above them means you have to buy the COD, the pass. So more XP tokens, 45 minutes, more COD points, charm. Just another blueprint. So a lot of cosmetic stuff. They do have, again, another free weapon. So I think it's just two free weapons. Uh, Ram 7 or the TAR-25. Definitely looks sweet. I have not used it yet. I've seen a lot of people use it. The iron sights look sick. Um... But I haven't used it yet, so i got to try that out find out. Another watch. Again, I think they're pointless. I don't understand them. It's an aesthetic thing. Like, it, it, if it wasn't in the game, it really... It has no effect. It has no effect on the game whatsoever. Just one little small aesthetic thing. But, uh... That looks kind of... Oh, Hadir. Yeah, that's from the campaign. I... Yeah, from the campaign. We'll go over that sometime. But, uh... That's actually a very, very, very sweet blueprint. More skins, more blueprints. There's really nothing that, like, none of these... That actually looks very sweet, the trader. That looks very, very, very nice. It's only got three pieces on it, but it's like, a, they typically have, like, different skin and then maybe a couple different things. Like, there is an AK on here that's kind of cool, but... There's just, there's none of these, like, emblems. I mean, that's, that's okay. But there's just none of these that are really, like, just, just stick out as, like, awesome. When it comes to the emblems or the stickers or whatever. There's a Steigen. It's kind of sweet. 
And now they mentioned that it was already going to be all cosmetic, which is which is cool. I understand that. I, I definitely don't want to pay to win type of thing. Um, however, you can just buy these operators and get these pretty good. I think the foliage skins for like the snipers or whatever, um, where they have a ghillie suit is kind of OP because they do blend in very well. Um, I saw somebody using this earlier. But so that means they probably either bought these or because you can buy this far as on the left you see it buy 83 tiers, 1300 or 1250, yeah, 12450 12, cod points overgrowth. There's 12600. Steps walked. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what that is. Like these are. I mean that's actually kind of a cool emblem. But they're just very lackluster. That's the end of it. I mean, the Corruptor, that looks sweet. I love that. I'm excited for that, but I always use the Iron Sight, so I would definitely take that off. Um, but I just think, I don't know. And then the last one is uh, Skin for Mara. But anyways, I think it's pretty sweet. I'm glad that they went. Away, they did away with the, uh, the crates themselves and the randomness of that. It's definitely a gamble, and it's really annoying not getting the same thing, even though you use tens, fifties, or even hundreds of dollars. Not saying that I have, but you know. That's how they get their money. But so ten bucks ten bucks for sixty what does it say that? Pass resets, fifty six days, fifteen hours, twenty five minutes, top left there. Um I originally when it started I think it was sixty two days. So two months, thirty one days each. Um so that's not too bad. Maybe they'll I hope they hopefully they will make it a little bit longer. Um ten bucks for two months, so five bucks a month isn't horrible. Um so total of sixty dollars a year. That's not too bad. I'm okay with that. We'll see how it plays out. This first one, I definitely like it a lot. Um, the store is pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna buy any of those right now. Again, since they're just all cosmetic. I mean, some look sweet. There was one. This Alpha Dog one looks amazing. I love that paint. I don't know if you get to use that paint on anything else. I'm guessing you could. I mean, you just use the blueprint and then swap out the attachments. Because I definitely don't like those attachments. But I would love to use that paint on, like, other guns. But the M13 is really good, so. But, anyways, like, that one's going to be gone in 15 hours. I'm not going to buy that. It kind of stinks. I kind of do want it. But, anyways, all in all, I really do like it. It's awesome. I really hope I get some of the playtime on the new map here it is ground war port um i definitely have seen some gameplay of it already there are a few maps from old games i believe modern warfare 2 is in there uh it's i, I like that 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 of the ground war maps where they actually incorporate smaller maps into the large maps so you get to run into some more nostalgic areas it's it's pretty sweet but this one so says says during the large scale battle on port the latest map for ground war so at the edge of krovnik farmland which is the most recent um, ground war map that was released uh, this massive cargo port is primed for warfare hop in a helicopter and coast above the cargo containers which is actually different because krovnik doesn't have helicopters on it um, above the cargo containers or squat up in an infantry assault vehicle ia oh, assault tank excuse me i think they always say iav IAT and wage war on the ground. Get to port now. Massive map, massive fight. I heard it's very, very open. Uh, you have this over uh, overpass that goes through the entire map. You can't actually get up on it, as far as I know. But again, hopefully, we'll get some gameplay on that here soon. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Just wanted to do a quick overview of the season one pass for Call of Duty: Modern Warfare. Stay tuned for more gameplay of that, and we'll catch you in the next one.